marketed in the Lycoming County Office of Voter Services says they've been bracing for the record number of mail-in and absentee ballots already returned to their office, but with state law prohibiting them from officially processing and counting those ballots until Election Day, there's concern for a potential logjam. It's a huge strain on every county in the Commonwealth. Just four days out from Election Day, Lycoming County officials say they're handling astonishing numbers of mail-in and absentee ballots. Director of Elections Forrest Lehman says they've already received over 11,000 of the nearly 16,000 mail-in and absentee ballots applied for. Those figures shattering previous records and up from just 2,500 sent out in the last presidential election. Looking at 11,000 coming back with still several days left to go to receive them, uh, we're, we're definitely in uncharted territory. But that 5,000 ballot gap between received and applied for could spell trouble. Lehman says the balance could result in an increase in provisional ballots, paper ballots used when someone's registration status is in question, leading to a logjam and longer lines on election day. Our hope is that they come back in the mail or that if the voter has the ballot, they deliver it to voter services so that we don't have those kinds of lines out at precincts on election day. With his office, like those throughout the Commonwealth, hamstrung in their ability to start counting until Tuesday, Lehman says results will depend on the 20 to 30 county employees tasked with adding the ballots up. One voter I spoke with says not knowing all the results come Tuesday night would be strange. I think it'll be weird for sure, um, but I trust the process and I hope that we'll know sooner rather than later. Lehman says he isn't worried about concerns over the election's validity and neither should voters. There are county election officials and employees on the ground who are putting in this extraordinary time and effort to make the election work and to follow the laws and the court rulings wherever they go. Now, Mark Lehman tells me despite these record numbers, he does believe that results for local elections could be up by Tuesday night. As for the presidential race, that's a little more nebulous, but it's clear that in both cases, he and his fellow election officials could have diligently used that head start in counting. For your local election headquarters in Williamsport, I'm Sean Coffey, Eyewitness News.